We were talking to a coach last year about this time, and uh, he asked us the question after really listening to about five minutes of what we were trying to do. He said, well, so what is first down playbook? Just a bunch of football plays? And we had to laugh because to some degree he was correct. But uh, to some degree it explains a little bit about why the organization of first down playbook is so important. And uh, we've learned this uh, you know, long and hard over the past couple years. But with the new 2.0, uh, that is uh, really a lot easier. And today we want to show you uh, that there's just a lot of ways that people go in and think about uh, how to organize plays. And it's our job to get you to what you're looking for um, as quickly as we can and understanding that uh, six different coaches might look at it different ways. And so let's take, uh, for instance, today we're finishing up the uh, last plays of the 2.0 transfer and we're in the trick plays. <clears throat> so we're in the trick plays pass and run and you're loading them up right here and just some ways that we want to show you how we organize them. So the first thing you're going to notice as we hover over these plays in the trick play uh, pass area that you know we've got them to where they're pass plays, they're obviously tricks for six is what we call it uh, and some of these these ones at the top right here are all falling in the screen category as well. But as you scroll down and you're looking, uh, then you're going to also find uh, some plays that are going to fit in other categories. And so if you look, you're going to see different things you've got right here, for instance. Uh, you've got one of these is a flex bone play. So if you were to tap on that flex bone tag right there, we would immediately get you to uh, just all the flex bone plays that we have in first down playbook. And that would take quite a while to scroll down and see them all. But you saw how quickly we got you to that. So these, this tag area is one way that we're helping to, to get coaches uh, where they need to be. Now let's go back to the beginning and let's go back to that same area. Let's go varsity offense and we'll go down here to the specials area. And we'll go back to that trick plays for the passing game. Now, as you, these plays load up right here, and you're looking at, um, let's just take one of these down here. Let's go flea, fi flea flicker, excuse me. So we open that flea flicker up. Uh, you see we've got it categorized as a pass, which it obviously is, and a tricks for six varsity. But now when you open that play up, you need to understand that as you look at it, we've got it drawn up like a run play because at its heart, it has to be treated like a run play because that's what it is all the way up to the last second. And that's why we block it up against the different fronts and give you the ability to flip it and run it both ways. But the point we want to make here is that uh, sometimes a coach might come in and be looking for something like this out of the run area, sometimes out of the pass area. So with first down playbook, uh, we don't think it's a problem as long as we don't become too diluted. What we do is we'll take that play and we'll put it over here in the trick plays for pass, but we'll also put it in the trick plays for run. So if a coach is over here looking for trick plays and they load up the run game and uh, they happen to see that, obviously it's a pass, it's tagged as a pass, but at the same time, very heavily, heavily, heavily coming off of a run play action. So once again, I'll go back to the coach, uh, you know, last year about this time. Uh, exactly right. It is just a bunch of plays, uh, over 35,000 in fact. But the key is, how do we get you to what you're looking for as quickly as possible? And that might mean there's more than one way. But you can bet as you come in here, you're going to find an organization that's going to continually improve and the library of choices for plays is going to continually grow as well.